Hey, welcome back. This is Ben. So invisibility, huh? Isn't that a good power to have? I mean, you could do a lot of pretty bad things with it. Hmm, prison break? But too bad your crush won't notice you. If you actually want to let someone know that you exist, you need to make an effort to do so or you'll just be lost in the crowd. Here are 10 slick tricks on how to get your crush to notice you. Number one, smell good. No one likes a bad odor on them. Well, unless you're like one of the few who likes that kind of stuff, make sure to shower every day and use soap. It's affordable, so you have no excuse. If you sweat a lot and know you have bad body odor, use deodorant. When going out, put a few spritz of cologne or perfume on your pulse area to enhance your smell, but don't overdo it to the point where you're trying to suffocate them and knock them out. I mean, if that's the case, you should try chloroform. Number two, have similar interests as your crush. Okay, this might require you to do a bit of stalking. If stalking is a bit of a strong word for you, then you can call it as intensive research of an individual, of course, for academic purposes. Study and take notes of what they like to do. When you know what they like to do, try to be more involved with their activities or at least try to be around them, letting them know that you are there, but don't make it too obvious that you're there for them. Now, I know some people might say, oh, you shouldn't change yourself for someone else. You're not changing yourself for them. Let's just call it trying new things. Plus, the main focus is to get them to notice you. So once you achieve that, you can do something else if you don't like it. Also, it's not stalking if you don't get caught and people don't know. So be very slick about it. Number three, dress up and stand out. If you just blend in with the crowd, you might as well tell your crush to close their eyes and randomly select a partner. You must look sharp and presentable and very well dateable if you want your crush to notice you. Perhaps try on the color red. It's bold and will definitely make you stand out. And for girls, don't be afraid to put on that red lipstick. Red can symbolize confidence, love, and seduction. And if you're Asian, you already know it's a baby making color. So give it a try. Number four, make eye contact. I know I talk about eye contact in most of my videos, but for those who are new to my channel or for those who just want to know a thing or two, just know that eye contact is important. Eye contact is probably where you'll create that initial spark between the two of you. It's intimate and not too overwhelming for your crush. So occasionally and naturally from time to time, try to lock eye with them for a brief moment to get their attention. If you're bold enough, I dare you to give them a wink. Number five, be funny. If you have humor on your side, you're already more than 50% ahead of the game. People in general like a good laugh, and if you can crack a few jokes and tell funny stories, you'll definitely be able to draw people's attention and have them coming back to you for more. Laughter is contagious, and if you can get one person to laugh, other people will follow. Sooner or later, it'll reach to your crush and they'll want to jump in on it. And also other things in life. Number six, show them you have your life together. Honestly, if you have a plan in place and you kind of have a sense of your own future, I think that's pretty attractive or maybe that's just me. Like, heck yeah, let me know at what age you're planning to get a house and I'll slide into your DM when you're successful and close to getting a house. I'm kidding, sort of. But confidence is pretty attractive, so don't be afraid to show that off. Let them know that you have a set of amazing skills or show off your talent like if you're good at Photoshop, you can Photoshop you and them together. Okay, that might be a little bit too creepy. Yeah, don't do that. Own your strengths so they'll notice you. Also, be mature. Some people like those who are seasoned and ripe. I'm just saying. Number seven, be kind and nice. In general, I think it's safe to say that people in general are attracted to other nice people. So be nice to people. Don't put people down. Don't be a complainer. Be caring and have a kind heart. And you know how people say that nice guys finish last? Well, they obviously don't know the whole story to it. Nice guys generally end up having a successful relationship with their partner and stay together longer as a couple than some jerk or cocky guy whose relationship is short-lived because it doesn't take someone that long to realize that deep down inside, they aren't nice. And I didn't mean to exclude the ladies, it applies to them as well. Number eight, turn the tables around. Okay, this one is a tricky play. It may work or it may not, but I'm going to tell you anyways. So it requires two things. One, it requires you to have a mutual friend. Second, it requires your crush to simply do one thing that shows interest in you. Whether it's locking eye for a split second or if they barely bump into you in class or something, 
then you casually go up to your mutual friend and let them know that so and so, let's just say Tom was staring at you today and that you think he likes you. If that mutual friend is a good friend of your crush, they'll tell your crush and possibly tease him by saying, hey, you like her, huh? She said you were checking her out. And voila, you have just turned the game around and your crush will start to notice you more and possibly find you interesting. Obviously, this has a lot of moving parts and you have to get it perfect in order for it to work. I mean, sometimes you just can't find a friend to tell it to. <sighs> Which is why I do these monologues. Number 9. Add them on social media. Nowadays, there are tons of social media platforms you can use to connect with your crush. Well, unless they have one. But first, you need to know which platform they are using during your intensive research. Once you know, type in their phone name and then add them as a friend or follow them. If they accept or follow you back, you can say that things are escalating pretty quick between you two. But do calm down. I know your hormones are raging at this point. You know you can casually like or comment a picture or two when they post, but don't overdo it. This is a simple way and for sure they'll notice you. Number 10. Befriend their friends. This is probably one of the best way to get them to notice you because it's actually really hard for them not to notice you. For example, if you are talking to your friend and your crush comes up to their friend, they are bound to notice you unless they are blind and deaf. Your success rate of getting noticed is 100% if they aren't blind and deaf. I can guarantee that or your money back. Plus, you'll get to see your crush more often. If you're too shy to go up to them, then it's a perfect opportunity to slowly move in towards them and get to know more about them. The information can also be useful for your research purposes, of course. Overall, getting your crush to notice you isn't that hard. Sometimes you just need to take the initiative and get yourself noticed. Don't try to complicate things. A simple hi and a smile goes a long way, ladies and gentlemen. Make small talks with them. Sometimes after talking to them for a while, you might realize that they aren't really that great anyway. After all, crushes are crushes. They might not all work out. I mean, I have a list of 42 crushes. They are all kind of more famous than me. Actually, like a lot more famous. So I probably can't even get past their security to talk to them. Best bet is to moderately stalk them online. But like Taylor Swift, can I get your autograph? Hey, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below and I'll get right back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.